Hi dear students, in the previous video, we have already seen about the verbs. So in this video, we are going to see the exercise from your English grammar book on page number 33. So before going to start this exercise, let's see what are verbs. Verbs are the words that tell us what someone or something does. Words that tell us what someone or something does are called verbs. That means the verb describes what the subject is doing. In a sentence, the verb describes what the subject is doing. We can call it doing word or action verse. All the action words are called verbs. Dear students, please look at these examples. The old lady laughed. The old lady laughed. Which is the subject here? The old lady. Which is the verb here? Laughed. Here, the verb describes what the subject is doing. Here, what did the old lady do? She laughed. The old lady laughed. So, which is the verb here? Laughed. Next one. The dog wagged its tail. Which is the subject here? The dog. The verb describes what the subject is doing. Here, what did the dog do? The dog wagged its tail. Yes, students. Now we can see the verse with the similar meaning of verb. So here are some verse with the similar meaning of verb. First one, allow. Allow means to permit or to grant. Anumadidan. So both these words, allow and permit, have got the same meaning. Next one, understand. Understand. What is the similar meaning verb here? Grasp. So both these words, grasp and understand, have got the same meaning. Means to realize, to know. This one, pardon. Pardon. What is the similar meaning verb here? Forgive. Means maaf karna. To stop being angry. Pardon. Forgive. Both these words have the same meaning. Next one, gathered means assembled, means to come together, to bring together. Gathered and assembled. Both these words have the same meaning. Next one, bought by something, that means to purchase. Here the word bought and purchased have got the same meaning. Next one, select means to choose. Chunna. Next one, disappeared means vanished. Here the similar meaning verb is vanished. That means uh, to stop existing. Disappeared, vanished. Both these words have the same meaning. Next yes, one, ordered means commanded, to tell. Next yes, one, hid. That means here the similar meaning verb is concealed. That means concealed means to uh, hide something. Chipana. So here the word uh, hid and concealed have got the same meaning. Next, yes, amended. That means corrected. That means to change something. Here the words amended and corrected have got the same meaning. That means to change something. Dear students, now we can see the verbs with the opposite meaning verb. Verbs with opposite meaning verb. Verbs with opposite meaning verb. See, first one asked. What is the opposite word? Answered. Here the word asked means it is the question. 
answered that is the reply then this one floated what is the opposite word sank the word float floating means to stay on the air on the surface but the word sank means to go down this one loves pyar karna what is the opposite hates dwesh loves hates this one created what is the opposite word destroyed created destroyed this one borrowed borrowed means to uh, take something from some someone but the word lent means to give something to another person then this one collected collected means to bring things together what is the opposite word distributed distributed means to give things to another person distributed this one bought what is the opposite word sold bought means kharida sold bhej diya this one whispered that means to speak a uh, very quietly to speak very quietly it is called whisper what is the opposite word shouted that means to speak very loudly it is called shouted so next one remember what is the opposite forget forget means to fail to remember to fail to remember it is called forget so what is the opposite of the word remember forget this one found what is the opposite lost lost means that cannot be uh, found lost so what is the opposite word found lost dear students i hope you all have understood this have a nice day thank you